Hi friends, I'm Kanagaraj, Faculty for Agriculture and Botany. So in this video, we are going to discuss how to approach botany syllabus for UPSC. You know, the botany syllabus is very vast. It takes almost uh, four to five months of sincere preparation to cover the entire syllabus. So one question that comes to our mind, whether we should read the entire syllabus. Because in my previous video, I told you that uh, for uh, pure science options like botany, we have to read the entire syllabus in order to score high marks. And uh, we have to prepare proper notes for each and every topic in the syllabus. But if you work out smartly, we can save a lot of time and energy. So this video is about how to cover the syllabus more effectively within a short span of time. So let's see. So first we discuss one by one, uh, paper one and paper two. So in paper one, you know, there are two sections, section A and section B. And these are the topics, major subjects in the paper one, microbiology, plant pathology, cryptogams, gymnosperms. Again, in the angiosperms, I divided the topic into two, uh, systematics and anatomy and embryology. So the systematic topic that covers taxonomy, taxonomy area, then uh, plant resource development, and finally, morphogenesis, right? So these are the last three years question paper, the question trend. So 2021, 2020, and 2019. So if you look at the question pattern, so more number of questions are from in the section A. Actually, um, these topics, there is no clear cut boundary between the section A and section, section B, but uh, section A is dominated by these four topics, microbiology, plant pathology, cryptogams, and gymnosperms. And angiosperms are common to both section A and section B. And finally, these two topics, plant resource development, morphogenesis, the questions are in the section B, right? Okay, so in the section A, more number of questions are from the cryptogams. So the compulsory questions and big questions. And again, uh, angiosperms, very, very important. So we can find uh, from the taxonomy area and plus the anatomy embryology. So more number of questions from angiosperms. They are common to both section A and section B. And last two topics, plant resource development, morphogenesis. So the morphogenesis topic is about uh, the tissue culture, those area. Again, uh, if you see, so there are more number of questions from morphogenesis. So based on this pattern, we can uh, assume that. So these three topics are very, very important. The morphogenesis, angiosperms, and the cryptogams. So for paper one, these three topics are very, very important. So we have to read the entire syllabus of these three subjects. Okay, And here we can give less importance to plant pathology. I will give you one interesting fact at the end of this video after discussing with the paper two why there are uh, less number of questions from plant pathology. So now we can move to paper two. So here in paper two, again, uh, section A, section B. And these are the, the five subjects in paper two. Cell biology, genetics, molecular biology and evolution, plant breeding and plant biotechnology, physiology and biochemistry, then ecology and plant geography. So in section A, here we can see a clear cut boundary between section A and section B. So section A is dominated by these three subjects, cell biology, genetics, plant breeding. So these questions in the section A and section B, the questions are from physiology and ecology, right? So here again, see this topic is very, very important, okay? So in the paper two, we cannot skip the physiology and ecology part. So if we cover these two subjects, then we can attempt maximum questions from section B. Okay, instead of studying three subjects, if we cover two subjects thoroughly, fully, then we can attempt most of the questions from paper two, both compulsory questions as well as big questions. Okay. And here also, again, if you look at the, uh, the plant breeding topic, so there were a less number of questions from plant breeding. So if you see the paper one, so less number of questions from plant pathology and then the paper two from plant breeding. 
So the interesting uh, fact is, um, since I am taking both agriculture and botany, in agriculture also, in paper two, these topics are common. These topics are again, they are part of ag agri paper two syllabus. Cell biology, genetics, plant breeding, physiology and ecology, right? So in agriculture, there were a less number of questions from purely botany topics. So they won't ask uh, much questions from uh, DNA, RNA, biotechnology, those areas. So mostly they ask questions in paper two, mostly they ask questions from plant breeding, seed technology. So mostly applied, applied part of the botany. And here also, uh, since the plant pathology and uh, plant breeding, they are purely agricultural topics. So there were less number of questions from these two topics and they ask more questions from uh, purely the technical area, botany area, right? So that's the pattern. So this video is more useful for you. Uh, suppose if you are preparing for IFOS, okay, in that case, because you have to cover two optionals. Um, so suppose if you take botany as a secondary option, then this approach will be more useful for you. Okay, All right. I hope this video is useful for you. All right, so I'm also conducting a, a series for uh, students, botany option students. It's a more flexible one. So you can contact in this number for test series. Thank you.